Hello and welcome back to the Lowdown on Physics. This is screencast number three in a series on electronics and photonics for Unit 3 VCE Physics. Today we will be looking at transducers and applications of transducers. To start with, let's have a look at what a transducer is. In its simplest form, it's simply an energy converter. It transforms energy from one form to another. Um, so either from electrical to something useful like uh, light or kinetic energy or heat energy or it can do the reverse it can go from heat energy or light energy or um, kinetic energy and into electrical energy where do we use them in communication systems um, and often in instrumentation and control systems think about pushing a button on your remote control and making the TV do something. So basically they are the interface between the environment and the electronics. Um, we have two, two types of transducers. We have an input transducer and an output transducer. Um, basically they change non-electrical energy into electrical energy. That's an input transducer. So an example of such things would be a microphone uh, solar cell or a photocell and a thermistor. That's what tells the temperature for your, say, your freezer to turn back on and cool it off or for your oven to turn off and stop heating up. So, thermistors. Basically, what happens with a thermistor is that they have a resistance that changes. It varies due to the temperature, and that's basically because of the semiconductors that it's built of built out of. Um, they can, they're an input transducer because they use thermal energy to adjust the voltage in a um, voltage divider. Uh, where do we use them? They have masses of uses, um, particularly we've got fire alarms, uh, you have on your car dashboard, you have an indicator telling you how hot your car engine is, um, any electronic thermometer that's going to be used for um, measuring temperature and as such the extension of that would be as a thermostat which controls the temperature in in household equipment, in industrial equipment, so your air conditioner, your heater, your fridge, your freezer, your, um, your oven for example. So the graph would look something like this. As the temperature gets warmer, the resistance decreases. Uh, so it's not linear. It's, it's very, very much one of those things that you've just got to check the graph and read off the graph to, in order to determine the resistance for given temperatures. So for example, here at 40 degrees, it looks like it's probably around the, this is in kilo ohms, so probably around maybe the 700 ohm mark. So let's have a look at an example that's fairly um, characteristic of what you might see in your exam. We've got a thermistor. We're told that it follows the resistance curve that's at the bottom and it's placed in a voltage divider as shown. So here we've got a variable resistor and a thermistor. That means we can adjust this resistance. This is kind of like um, setting the temperature on the fridge as to when it will switch on, switch off is all you're doing is adjusting the resistance in the circuit. We have 9 volts across it. Um, this is sort of a simplified way that, that they show the diagrams in Unit 3 physics. So 9 volts out to 0 volts across the two resistors. We're measuring V out across the thermistor. Okay, so the question is What's the value of the variable resistor if the temperature is 200 degrees and V out is 6 volts? Okay, so V out is across the thermistor and the temperature is 200 degrees. At 200 degrees, we have 10 ohms of resistance. So that's first step is work out the thermistor resistance. Then we can use our voltage divider equation. V in was 9 volts, V out is 6 volts, and 6 volts corresponds to the 10 ohm resistance of our thermistor. So we want to know where what, what the resistance is of the variable resistor. 
So substituting in, we're rearranging, uh, expand that 6R plus 60, simplifying that down, we end up with 6R equals 30 or R equals 5 ohms. When we look at that, it kind of makes a great deal of sense. If there's 6 volts across V out, that means there's 3 volts used in the variable resistor. Half the voltage corresponds to half the resistance. So let's analyse this a bit further into some general terms. So let's say here we've got 12 volts, we've got a resistance of 3000 ohms and our thermistor there. If the temperature was 25 degrees, the resistance of the thermistor would be 1000 degrees, uh, 1000 ohms, and that means we would get V out as 3 volts. If we reduce the temperature to 13 degrees, the value of the resistance of the thermistor doubles, and V out increases to 4.8 degrees. And if T is reduced to 6 degrees, the value of the resistance of the thermistor is 3000 ohms. V out increases to 6 volts. So what do we notice here? As temperature drops, this resistance increases. How do we use this information? One of the questions they love to give you in VCE physics is, where would I replace, where would I place V out? Do I replace it across the thermistor or across the resistor? And it depends on whether you're using it as a heater or as a cooler. And they'll ask you one or the, one or the other, and that's, that's pretty much a guarantee. So this is something that you can put onto your cheat sheet and then just reword it to suit the question you're asked. So let's look at that. So as R thermistor increases, V out increases. So if V out's increasing as temperature drops, the question is, would you replace the heater or the cooler across here to counter the change in temperature? Remember when V out's increasing, that means we're getting to a voltage that's going to switch on um, some other circuit that's attached across it. So voltage needs to be increasing here to switch it on. So as temperature keeps dropping, the voltage across this keeps increasing, which means that eventually this would switch on. So if we want to counter the change, that is, if the temperature keeps dropping, we need to increase the temperature. That means we want a heater placed across the thermistor. So attaching a heater, um, this is fairly typical of what they would ask of you in VCE question. Um, should it be connected across the resistor or the thermistor? Explain. So you want to attach it across the thermistor for the reason that we just said. How do we put that into words? I would say as temperature decreases, the resistance of the thermistor increases. Therefore, V out is going to increase across the thermistor and switch on the heater when it gets colder or when it reaches the required voltage. So I would put something like that on your cheat sheet because you can usually adapt it to answer the question, but make sure it answers the question they're asking, otherwise you'll get penalised. And of course, the reverse. If you're attaching a cooler, should it be across the resistor or the thermistor? In this case, it's going to be across the resistor. Why? Because as the temperature increases, the resistance of the thermistor decreases, therefore V out across the resistor increases, which will switch on the air conditioner when it gets too hot. Okay, that's it for transducers. I'll see you in class and we will analyse this situation a bit more in detail.